Well, it's an important place for Christchurch's Muslim community, and today those inside were expressing their religious freedom, the majority of them new New Zealanders, people who thought they'd come to one of the safest places in the world. Carolyn Robinson with this. The Masjid Al Noor Mosque is the biggest mosque in Christchurch and one of New Zealand's oldest. Until today, it was a place of refuge for many, including for many of Christchurch's refugees. TripAdvisor describes the mosque as a peaceful place where love and humanity flow. Today, there was no peace to be found. They came one after the other. I've, I've had a lot of people now say bang, 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 bang. Small pauses, bang, 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 bang. Shots going for up to 10 minutes. People was hal, hal, I heard just hal, hal. And I climbed, I put some wood, and I climbed, the wood was tall. These pictures are not from today. But Friday is the day when most worshippers would be there. Friday is our congregational day of prayer, so it will be the one day of the week that is guaranteed to have the maximum number of people at the mosque. And it seems there was a chilling warning that wasn't heeded. From what I understand, and I didn't see it myself, there was a Facebook post posted on a community Facebook page uh, stating that there would be an attack today and in Christchurch and I do know that that information was given to police. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern called it one of our darkest days. Many of those who will have been directly affected by this shooting uh, may be migrants to New Zealand. They may even be refugees here. They have chosen to make New Zealand their home and it is their home. They are us. There is no place in New Zealand for such acts of extreme and unprecedented violence. But today, unspeakable violence did take place. And of all places, it was Christchurch, a city that's already suffered so much. Most people in the community will know somebody who was in that mosque today. This afternoon, New Zealand's newest Wikipedia page was made. Christchurch Mosque Shooting. Pretty quick I have with now that. had the opportunity. Pretty quick with that fucking page. Right up there. That broad's a pig. Hey, oh, what's this? There ain't no surprise already. Already. 18 hours. 8 hours. Just go in there. That's all I typed in. Christchurch, New Zealand. And 123 results were found. 50,000, 1,000, 9,000 pounds. 10,000, 100,000. Woohoo! Go back up. Dearborn, Michigan, raising the money. $50,000 goal. Become the first donor. Let fucking New Zealand take care of them. Fucking go fraud me. Go fraud me. Two hundred good. Don't give them a fucking penny. Cocksuckers. A 
not unbelievable. Campaign organizer, Abbas Mohammed. I got your fucking organization swinging. Rat fuck. Fucking cocksuckers. Oh. There it is, isn't it, huh? Huh? Isn't it, yeah? Huh. Need to be fully briefed with the details of the unprecedented events. Big question, of course, why was the mosque targeted? Well, it's an important place for Christchurch. It's going for up to 10 minutes. Climb, I put These pictures are not from worshippers would be there. Yeah, so it'll be the one day of the week that is guaranteed to have the maximum number of people at the mosque. And it seems there was a chilling warning that wasn't heeded. From what I understand, and I didn't see it myself, there was a Facebook post posted on a community Facebook page uh, stating that there would be an attack today and in Christchurch, and I do know that that information was given to police. Prime Minister... <coughs> it seems the authorities are always notified before one of these motherfuckers either notified about the event or they were notified about the person. Happens all the time and what? Oh, they never took any action. This is all fucking bullshit. Wake the fuck up and smell the coffee. A lot of people think it's real. I do not. It's all fucking bullshit. More bullshit. Fucking unbelievable. It's just... Fucking bullshit.